When doing the messaging, Linkit Helper first runs the inbuilt reply detector to find possible replies to your earlier messages, and based on that, it either does or does not send the message. It has two settings activated. Reject sending the message if the contact replied to your previous message. Reject if you message that person after the previous message. Let's take a look at how it works. Linked Helper opens the chat history with the person it needs to message and finds that there is a message from me after the connection request. So it will display a red notice saying you messaged that person before and will mark it as failed. The second profile. He sent a reply to my connection request. Linked Helper will mark this contact as we found a reply and will place it in a replied sublist. Both profiles were placed in the failed and replied lists respectively. They did not receive the designated message. In the third case, there seems to be no reply from the contact, neither a message from me after the connection request. So he is eligible to receive the message. And this contact is successfully processed in the action. Let's recap. The profiles get failed if there is another message from us after our previous message. Replied sublist contains profiles from whom we receive some sort of reply to our previous message. Lastly, successfully processed profiles are those who eventually received our message. There is another setting called Reject if you or Linkit Helper message the contact after connection date. If you did everything right in your campaign on the outset, you won't need this setting at all. This setting, if enabled, will only deliver the automatic message if there were no messages after the connection date, either from you or from the contact. In most cases, the above listed settings cover all your reply detection needs.